Here is the results of my three hour glucose test. You needed to be below 95, which I am. You needed to be below 180, clearly way below 180, below 155, and below 140. Um, I, have, I made a video on why you should take your three hour glucose test, because if you don't want your baby poked repeatedly, definitely do it. I'll link that video below. My one hour glucose results, I scored a 141 and you need to be 139 or below. So I, I knew I was going to pass the three hour test. She says she's seen people score 141 and end up with gestational diabetes. If anybody, if that's happened to anybody, please let me know. Um, and she also told me, because I received the results from the first two, and I just got done with the two hour draw, but they didn't have the results. And I was just like, oh, well, because you, um, if you fail two, then you have gestational di diabetes. So I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail. And she's like, well, I've seen where it's way below, and then it'll rise up above 155 and 140. She says it's rare, but she says she's seen it before. And I don't know. I don't know. It seemed a little fishy to me. I was Googling, couldn't find anything. So if that's happened to anybody, please let me know. Let me let me see your results if, if you want. Because um, that just seemed a little fishy to me that, that I really needed to stay for the... <laughs> For that for that last straw um, but yeah I hope this helps you out